Hi guys, this is Noor and welcome back to my channel. So I am here with you guys with another makeup tutorial and I really felt like doing pastels and a little pop of color and just kind of like have fun with it and this is exactly what I did and I am using the Huda Beauty Mercury palette so if you guys want to know how I achieved this look please keep on watching. Alrighty, so I do look quite weird and this hair is standing up just ignore it and today I'm gonna to show you guys how I kind of do my skin right now I did lose my tan before the quarantine I was a little bit tanner than now but I did lose my tan because we can go out and I do go tanning a little bit before the summer I don't abuse on it I know it's bad but I have that in my gym and since I haven't been in the gym haven't tanned and I'm white I'm a ghost <laughs> It's okay, I can still go ahead and match myself to a foundation. I already went ahead and I primed my face. This is my favorite ever. This is the Milk, this is the Hydro Grip Primer. And I love, love this stuff. I think this is something that I will keep buying. And I'm also gonna go ahead and use my Vaseline Lip Therapy for my lips to just moisturize them. This stuff works so well. So for foundation, since I am breaking out a little bit and I do want to cover it up, I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fluid Foundation. This is an NC20. I am just going to take my blender here. This is from Morphe. And I'm just going to pat, look, God. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that on my skin. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And this is in shade Almond. And I'm going to pop that under the eyes a little bit on this buddy here <laughs> and forehead nose chin area as well I'm just gonna add here just to balance it out and I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out as well concealer is on I'm gonna go ahead and do some contouring the one I've been really liking so far which is a really big dupe to this one which this I have to kind of like throw away now um, I loved it so much this is the Maybelline fit me foundation stick in J355 coconut which they don't make anymore but luckily I found something that is quite similar and I love it this is from Juvia's place this is shade called Abyss Ababa <laughs> and it looks like that so this is great for contouring really I love it so I'm just gonna go ahead and do my contour maybe my contour is not the same as anybody that does it but it's just how I like to do it because I do find like a difference <laughs> when I do these weird linings all over my face and I'm also gonna go ahead and do my lips too under and then just enhance the cupid's bow like this and I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out I'm just gonna use my big brush for this one when it comes to the lips I take a smaller brush this is from Morphe and Jacqueline this is DJH08 and I just go ahead and I blend it out I know I look weird but I just blend it out like this and then I take my sponge then I like to go ahead and highlight. I like to use the Jeffree Star Magic Concealer. This is in shade C13. And I do little dots like that. And I go ahead and blend it all out. I'm gonna go ahead and bake my under eye and a little bit the under the contour as well. And I'm gonna be using my Juvia's Place powder and this is the I'm Magic Setting Powder in Sahara. I'm just gonna dab my sponge in here and take it and set it under the eye. And now I do get natural creases under the eye which is quite normal for me. So I let that sit for a little bit and I'm just gonna take my powder. I love this powder so much you guys. This is from Lancome and this is the Dual Finish Powder. And this one's in shade 205 Natural 2. I did hit pan on this just because I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna take this with a big fluffy brush. This is also from Morphe and Jacqueline, the JH01. I'm just gonna take it and kind of like brush it 
all over the face and I'm gonna go under the eyes where I baked and just have that blend all over the skin to set the whole entire face with that as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face with my Urban Decay All Nighter so I zoomed in a little bit for you guys so you guys can see because the next step I do is my brows. This is my favorite brow pencil that I've been using for such a long time right now. This is from NYX and this is the Precision Brow Pencil and this is in shade Ash Brown. And I'm just going to brush out my eyebrows. I can tell you guys that my brows grew so much. If you watch my videos from the beginning, 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 you'll see that I didn't have any brows. <laughs> but my brows grew so much, I just, the key is literally to stop plucking them. And trust me, they grow back. The first thing I like to go ahead and use is the 3D Brow Tone from Benefit. This is in shade two. And I like to have that feathery look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just tint the front brows first. I'll do one eyebrow with you guys and then I'll do the other one off camera. I just brush it through and then I take the pencil and I kind of lightly fill in my brow. So I just follow the natural brow shape that I have and I continue with that line. And I like to kind of extend the brow a little bit. I lightly, very lightly touch the front anymore. So I just keep it like this. Then I work myself up and I draw my shape in. And then I just follow what I have. So when you start at the bottom, I find it's really easy to kind of finish up the shape of your brow. So that could be a little technique for you guys. And that is it for the brow. It's very simple, very easy. I take the spoolie from the pencil and I just feather out the front. Then I take the tinted brow mascara from NYX as well. And this is in shade brunette. Since I have black hair, I don't like to use black. And I just take this tint and I go ahead and I brush it all over the brow. This is also gonna help darken them up a little bit. So I'll go ahead and do the eyebrow off camera and also do the one eye off camera and I'll be back to show you guys what I have in mind today. Alrighty, the other eye is done and this is how it looks like and I absolutely love it. It's like I really felt like yellow, turquoise, purple tones today, and this is what I came up with. So let's go ahead and do the second eye. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is prime my lid. I'm using the P. Louise with my mini beauty blender. And I'm going to put that all over the eye. So today I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty Mercury palette. It looks like that. This is the Mercury Retrograde palette and it looks like this and the colors are so pretty the palette is so pretty i love how how a graphic -y pastel it is it's just absolutely stunning and the first color i'm going to go ahead and take is called momentum which is this shade right here it's a pretty nude shade and i'm just going to grab this color and i'm going to put that on the brow bone area next which is the color that i love and it's the beautiful turquoise color right here this is called haze and i'm going to basically put that all over my eye <laughs> crease lid everywhere you want it and i'm taking it with a big big fluffy brush this one is from morphe and jacqueline hill this is the jh34 and I am going to pop this blue, all this turquoise, or teal, or whatever you want to call it, all over the eye. Next, I'm going to be taking Libra, which is this pastel purple, mixed in with this one. That one is called Off Balance. So I'm going to be mixing these two shades on the lower lash line. 
and I'm taking it with a small pencil brush and I am going to pop this purple mixed the both shades and I'm going to pop that all over the lower lash line. For the inner corner, I'm gonna be taking this one right here. This is called Super Moon. This one, I think it's better to use it wet, but I'm just gonna use it dry because it's quite flaky when it's dry, but I don't really mind that uh, for this look. But I'm just gonna go ahead and pop that into the inner corners and I'm gonna also blend it into that turquoise shade. And I'm also gonna go ahead and mix a little bit of this shade. This is like a shimmery pink. This is called Comic with the same brush. And I'm going to put that merging the super moon with the purples. Then I'm gonna go ahead and pop a yellow in my waterline. This is from MAC. These are the Gromographic pencils and this is called Primary Yellow. And I'm just going to pop this yellow onto the waterline. I'm gonna go ahead and wing my eye and I'm also going to be using a yellow liner this is from NYX vivid bright and this is in called vivid halo and I'm just gonna go ahead and create a wing liner with this so I always like to start from the eye on I'll go ahead and apply mascara and lashes and I'll be back with the finished look lashes are on the one that I use are from MFMA again I'll be doing a separate video on this brand and these are the pro lash light I just finished them all <laughs> so that's why the box is empty and then I went ahead and I applied a little bit of this blue mascara this is from NYX this is the color mascara and this is in shade mint julep and I put that on the lower lash line. Now on the actual lashes, the top one, I did put a mascara as well and it is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. So I'm just gonna take the shade right here, this is called Super Moon, and I took it a little bit on my finger right here, not too much, and I'm just going to basically pat that all over the turquoise just to give it like a little shimmer not too much to kind of just match up with the other eye i let the mascara set a little bit under the eye these are they work best when you layer them so you put it on you wait till it dries and then you put the second coat so it can really show time to do the face so i'm going to be taking my becca bronzer and this is in capri coast i love this bronzer so much and I'm gonna take it with a small brush, well, a small little angle brush. This is from Morphe and Jacqueline as well, uh, GH04, that's the number of the brush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do my contour like I normally do. So it just browns up my face a little bit. Next I'm gonna be taking is the NARS palette. This is the blush palette. And this one is called Now or Never Exposed Palette, is it? Is that what it is or that's the name oh that's the name of the shade but this is the exposed palette it looks like that and I'm gonna be taking this shade right here it's kind of like a peachy browny tone sorry about the mirror and I'm gonna be taking it with a small little brush just dabbing that shade on the brush and lightly patting it on my skin and then highlight I'm gonna be taking the shade right next to it to highlight I'm not sure how pigmented this is going to be. It's not as pigmented as I want it to be, but it still does the job. I'm gonna be taking the Morphe and Bretman Rock palette, this one right here, and I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade right here. This is called Beh Beh Girl. <laughs> 
and I'm just gonna take that and pat it on. Oh yeah, this is pretty. It has like that pinky, purpley iridescent in it. And it's very cute. I'm gonna go ahead and set the face. Okay, for lips. I went ahead and I just fixed up my hair, you guys. It was just not happening, not happening. And I have baby hairs everywhere. Please ignore those stupid baby hairs. <laughs> So for lips, I really want to keep it soft. Uh, for some reason, I have this soft look, soft lips in my head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take, this is from Kat Von D, this is called Noble. And I want to put this in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fenty Beauty that gloss this is called Diamond Milk. It looks like this and I'm also going to I really like it I like the lips like that I find it soft and I really want the concentration to be on the eyes and the eyes only so I really like the lips like this mm. all right you guys this is the finished look I really hope you guys enjoy it I absolutely love it I had so much fun creating this look I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial please if you have any questions or concerns just leave them in the comments down below also don't forget to follow my instagram now i have tiktok everything is going to be indicated in the info box for you guys as well please go ahead and show some support and follow me around as well thank you guys so much for watching and i'll talk to you later bye